Nehemiah chapter 9 verses 22 through 38. Moreover thou gavest them kingdoms and nations, and didst divide them into corners, so they possessed the land of Sihon, and the land of the king of Heshbon, and the land of Og king of Bashan. Their children also multipliedst thou as the stars of heaven, and broughtest them into the land, concerning which thou hadst promised to their fathers, that they should go in to possess it. So the children went in and possessed the land, and thou subduedst before them the inhabitants of the land, the Canaanites, and gavest them into their hands, with their kings, and the people of the land, that they might do with them as they would. And they took strong cities, and a fat land, and possessed houses full of all goods, wells digged, vineyards, and olive yards, and fruit trees in abundance, so they did eat, and were filled, and became fat, and delighted themselves in thy great goodness. Nevertheless they were disobedient, and rebelled against thee, and cast thy law behind their backs, and slew thy prophets which testified against them to turn them to thee, and they wrought great provocations. Therefore thou deliveredst them into the hand of their enemies, who vexed them, and in the time of their trouble, when they cried unto thee, thou hurtest them from heaven, and according to thy manifold mercies thou gavest them saviors, who saved them out of the hand of their enemies. But after they had rest, they did evil again before thee, therefore leftest thou them in the land of their enemies, so that they had the dominion over them, yet when they returned, and cried unto thee, thou hurtest them from heaven, and many times didst thou deliver them according to thy mercies. And testifiedst against them, that thou mightest bring them again unto thy law, yet they dealt proudly, and hearkened not unto thy commandments, but sinned against thy judgments, which if a man do, he shall live in them, and withdrew the shoulder, and harden their neck, and would not hear. Yet many years didst thou forbear them, and testifiedst against them by thy spirit and thy prophets, yet would they not give ear, therefore gavest thou them into the hand of the people of the lands. Nevertheless for thy great mercy's sake thou didst not utterly consume them, nor forsake them, for thou art a gracious and merciful God. Now therefore, our God, the great, the mighty, and the terrible God, who keepest covenant and mercy, let not all the trouble seem little before thee, that hath come upon us, on our kings, on our princes, and on our priests, and on our prophets, and on our fathers, and on all thy people, since the time of the kings of Assyria unto this day. Howbeit thou art just in all that is brought upon us, for thou hast done right, but we have done wickedly. Neither have our kings, our princes, our priests, nor our fathers, kept thy law, nor hearkened unto thy commandments and thy testimonies, wherewith thou didst testify against them. For they have not served thee in their kingdom, and in thy great goodness that thou gavest them, and in the large and fat land which thou gavest before them, neither turned they from their wicked works. Behold, we are servants this day, and for the land that thou gavest unto our fathers to eat the fruit thereof and the good thereof, behold, we are servants in it. And it yieldeth much increase unto the kings whom thou hast set over us because of our sins, also they have dominion over our bodies, and over our cattle, at their pleasure, and we are in great distress. And because of all this we make a sure covenant, and write it, and our princes, Levites, and priests, seal unto it. Nehemiah chapter 10. Now those that sealed were, Nehemiah, the Tirshitha, the son of Hakaliah, and Zidkijah, Sariah, Azariah, Jeremiah, Pasher, Amariah, Malchijah, Hattush, Shebaniah, Malak, Haram, Merimoth, Obadiah, Daniel, Ginnathon, Baruch, Meshulam, Abijah, Majamin, Maaziah, Biljai, Shemaiah, these were the priests. And the Levites, both Jeshua the son of Azaniah, Binuai of the sons of Henadad, Kadmiel, and their brethren, Shebaniah, Hadijah, Kalita, Pelaiah, Hanan, Miha, Rehob, Hashabiah, Zakur, Sherebiah, Shebaniah, Hadijah, Baani, Beninu. The chief of the people, Parish, Pahathmoab, Elam, Zathu, Baani, Bunni, Osgod, Bebai, Adonijah, Bigvi, Adin, Ader, Eskijah, Azur, Hadijah, Hashem, Bizai, Haref, Anatoth, Nebai, Magpyash, Meshulam, Hezer, Meshazabil, Zadok, Jadua, Pelatiah, Hanan, Anaya, Hoshia, Hananiah, Hashub, Halahesh, Pilha, Shobek, Rehem, Hashabna, Maaseya, and Ahijah, Hanan, Anan, Malak, Haram, Baana, and the rest of the people, the priests, the Levites, the porters, the singers, the Nethinims, and all they that had separated themselves from the people of the lands unto the law of God, their wives, their sons, and their daughters, every one having knowledge, and having understanding. They clave to their brethren, their nobles, and entered into a curse, and into an oath, to walk in God's law, which was given by Moses the servant of God, and to observe and do all the commandments of the Lord our Lord, 
and his judgments and his statutes. And that we would not give our daughters unto the people of the land, not take their daughters for our sons. And if the people of the land bring ware or any victuals on the Sabbath day to sell, that we would not buy it of them on the Sabbath, or on the holy day, and that we would leave the seventh year, and the exaction of every debt. Also we made ordinances for us, to charge ourselves yearly with the third part of a shekel for the service of the house of our God. For the showbread, and for the continual meat offering, and for the continual burnt offering, of the Sabbaths, of the new moons, for the set feasts, and for the holy things, and for the sin offerings to make an atonement for Israel, and for all the work of the house of our God. And we cast the lots among the priests, the Levites, and the people, for the wood offering, to bring it into the house of our God, after the houses of our fathers, at times appointed year by year, to burn upon the altar of the Lord our God, as it is written in the law. And to bring the first fruits of our ground, and the first fruits of all fruit of all trees, year by year, unto the house of the Lord. Also the firstborn of our sons, and of our cattle, as it is written in the law, and the firstlings of our herds and of our flocks, to bring to the house of our God, unto the priests that minister in the house of our God. And that we should bring the first fruits of our dough, and our offerings, and the fruit of all manner of trees, of wine and of oil, unto the priests, to the chambers of the house of our God, and the tithes of our ground unto the Levites, that the same Levites might have the tithes in all the cities of our tillage. And the priest the son of Aaron shall be with the Levites, when the Levites take tithes, and the Levites shall bring up the tithe of the tithes unto the house of our God, to the chambers, into the treasure house. For the children of Israel and the children of Levi shall bring the offering of the corn, of the new wine, and the oil, unto the chambers, where are the vessels of the sanctuary, and the priests that minister, and the porters, and the singers, and we will not forsake the house of our God. 1 Corinthians chapter 9 verses 19-27. through 27. For though I be free from all men, yet have I made myself servant unto all, that I might gain the more. And unto the Jews I became as a Jew, that I might gain the Jews, to them that are under the law, as under the law, that I might gain them that are under the law. To them that are without law, as without law, being not without law to God, but under the law to Christ, that I might gain them that are without law. To the weak became I as weak, that I might gain the weak, I am made all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. And this I do for the gospel's sake, that I might be partaker thereof with you. Know ye not that they which run in a race run all, but one receiveth the prize? So run, that ye may obtain. And every man that striveth for the mastery is tempered in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the air. But I keep under my body, and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 1 through 13. Moreover, brethren, I would not that ye should be ignorant, how that all our fathers were under the cloud, and all passed through the sea. And were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. And did all eat the same spiritual meat. And did all drink the same spiritual drink, for they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. But with many of them God was not well pleased, for they were overthrown in the wilderness. Now these things were our examples, to the intent we should not lust after evil things, as they also lusted. Neither be ye idolaters, as were some of them, as it is written, the people sat down to eat and drink, and rose up to play. Neither let us commit fornication, as some of them committed, and fell in one day three and twenty thousand. Neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted, and were destroyed of serpents. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured, and were destroyed of the destroyer. Now all these things happened unto them for ensamples, and they are written for our admonition, upon whom the ends of the world are come. Wherefore let him that thinketh he standeth take heed lest he fall. There hath no temptation taken you but such as is common to man, but God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will with the temptation also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. Psalms chapter 34 verses 1 through 10. I will bless the Lord at all times, His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My soul shall make her boast in the Lord, the humble shall hear thereof, and be glad. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt His name together. I sought the Lord, and He heard me, and delivered me from all my fears. They looked unto Him, and were lightened, and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him, and delivereth them. O oh, taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man that trusteth in him. O oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints, 
for there is no one of them that fear him. The young lions do lack, and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. Proverbs chapter 21 verse 13. Whoso stoppeth his ears at the cry of the poor, he also shall cry himself, but shall not be heard.